Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are talking about one of my most used and appreciated pieces of, of gear in general. This is not just EDC for me. As a matter of fact, it's a little more of a, a specialized piece of gear. Now, this is a carabiner, mind you, and a carabiner is a fantastic piece of EDC gear for a lot of people. For me, I have a more primary use for carabiners such as this, um, primarily when I'm out hiking or when I'm out doing my photography, um, usually. I'm hiking to a destination. So a carabiner works great for water bottles, for holding gear, for doing all sorts of things that can free up my hands. Um, and this is one that I have used a lot, a cipher or something like that. I don't know. Um, I have two of these on my camera bag, um, but this one is going somewhere else. This one is being retired for some other purpose because what we're talking about today is this magnificent piece of engineering here. This is the Ant Design GH Carabiner. And as you can see, it is a carabiner, but there is a lot more than just a carabiner going on here. So we're going to take a look at this, let you guys know what I think of it, and uh, give you the full rundown. But before I do that, if you're new to the channel, if you're watching this for the first time, carabiners aren't my normal thing on this channel. Normally, I talk... EDC knives, all sorts of pocket knives and knives in general. That's primarily what this channel is about, but EDC gear in general, which is why we're talking about this beauty today. And uh, now let's get right into it. Let's take a look at this carabiner and see just what we have. Um, from a dimensional standpoint, we are looking at 3.7 inches from left to right in overall length. We are looking at a height of 2.1 inches from its highest point down to the lowest point. And we are looking at a thickness of 0.3 inches all the way around same thickness. So there's your dimensions. Weight. Um, for this titanium version, we are looking at 1.9 ounces. So yeah, very light, uh, not going to feel heavy whatsoever in any case, really. In any, by any stretch of the imagination, this is just not heavy. It's a nice light carabiner, albeit very big. So, I mean, yes, are there smaller carabiners that are lighter? Of course, but, um, this carabiner is definitely one of a kind. Um, now there is also an aluminum version that is a little, a little lighter. I, I'm not exactly sure how heavy that one is, but this one we're talking about today is one point nine ounces uh maximum carry capacity this carabiner here can hold up to 220 pounds so a lot of weight um i do want to emphasize though very important to note here this carabiner is not intended for climbing so please <laughs> under no circumstances attach this to anything attached to your body to climb up something because it may not end well so don't do that <laughs> um Price. Let's look at the price for this. We are looking at $109 for this exact version. This is the titanium version with all of the tools. Now there's another titanium version with lesser tools for $89. And then there is an aluminum version with all these tools for $49. So there's your pricing. Uh, this is a Kickstarter and it is live right now. And uh, I will of course have that linked below. These are expected to begin shipping in July. So with all that being said, let's take a look at just what is on this thing because we have all the tools here. We're gonna go one by one. First off, we have a four millimeter hex opening for a bit. Uh, actually, so we have to open this first to get into this. Okay, so here we have an opening Close that up so I don't cut myself. Uh, we have an opening here, like I said, four millimeter opening for a driver bit. Um, now this one has a flathead, but keep in mind this is a prototype, guys. Um, the one on the website is showing a Phillips head, so I'm assuming there will be a Phillips head shipping with this. Uh, maybe a Phillips and a flathead. You check the check the Kickstarter for all the information on that. Um, but a four millimeter opening for the bit, and then moving on from that. We have this guy right here, which is really cool. Uh, this is a fire starter, a little fire starter, and it's actually held in there magnetically. So you just drop it in, push it down, and yeah, very nice and compact. Really like what they did there. Uh, now this guy right here, this is where the, uh, the knife channel kicks in. Uh, this is a utility knife, but I'll tell you what, guys, this thing is a scalpel. Um, it's literally just a little razor blade. And these can be, I can make a case that for a lot of cutting tasks, this little utility scalpel here can be just as effective as this blade. Because if all you need is the tip, guess what? A tip is a tip is a tip. Uh, and this one here 
is very, very wickedly slicey. Uh, obviously very acute. I wouldn't say it's a very strong tip, but anything, any little slits or cuts you need to make, this is going to work great. Or if you got a really bad splinter or something stuck in you, you could use this to dig something out of your skin if it gets impacted and embedded in there. So uh, a lot of versatility in this little razor blade there and now moving on around the clip we have a bottle opener uh that is yeah it's a bottle opener um and actually that kind of looks like a something you could almost use to pull up nails too really but uh it just calls it a bottle opener so we'll leave it at just the bottle opener um you also have a measuring uh markings here that go up to two and a half inches or seven millimeters so there's that. Um, and then over here, you have a spring-loaded gate for the opening. And you also have a slider lock here. Now, a slider lock. Check this out. This button right here. Boom. Now it's locked. So you can secure the carabiner uh, in case you have something really valuable. Like, for a perfect example for me, say I want to strap my camera to this. I have a strap on my camera, and I want to strap this to my gear bag and my camera to this. I would definitely be utilizing this right here because that is going to keep the carabiner from any way potentially opening on me, knowing that my gear is protected. So very nice there. And when you want to move it back, you just, it's spring loaded. So you just pull it back and it locks. And I found it to work, whoop, found it to work very well. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot going on here with, with this little carabiner. It's, it really is impressive. Uh, and then over here, you have a level, which obviously got to set it flat here, and it will tell you whether or not my board is flat. And let's see if it's flat. Is it flat? It's actually just a little off. So I don't have a perfectly flat table, but there's a level there to tell me that. So that's kind of nice. Um, then back here, we're not done. We have a tungsten glass breaker. That's pretty cool. Um, whether or not you'll ever need to use a glass breaker, I don't know. But it's nice that it's there. And then it's not. So it's not in the way. Um, it's not obtrusive. It couldn't poke you. It's not something that's going to be sticking out. Very nice to put that there. I like the way they did that. Um, and then last but certainly not least, we have this right here, which is a flathead screwdriver. So you can definitely get in and undo anything with a flathead screwdriver there. So very, very nice, impressive little uh, gosh, multi-tool, multi-carabiner. And of course, don't forget the fact that <laughs> the main purpose of this is a carabiner. So you have all these tools in here and you also have this little area right here uh, to kind of hit the fire starter on. So that's nice. Um, yeah, it is loaded. This thing is absolutely loaded. And if this isn't enough, if you want to add something to this, um, there's a lot of add-ons available at the checkout at Kickstarter from quick connectors to D-rings to toothpick to tweezers to compass to whistles and pill holder. Um, there's a lot. I was really, really impressed. They took something as simple as this carabiner and transformed it into this thing with all these extra options. So I really, really like this. Um, me personally, I can put a lot of value into a carabiner because when I'm hiking, I have a low pro pro tactic BP 450 AW2 uh, camera gear bag. And I have so much stuff on that. This is going to come in very, very clutch. I already know what I'm going to use the most. Um, definitely going to be using the little scalpel, um, to, for any type of little cuts and pokes I need to do. Um, that can work really good on certain types of camera gear. Of course, if I'm out camping, I might just try and start a fire with that just for the heck of it. That little fire starter, that's kind of cool. Um, but of course the, the carabiner itself, um, I will always be carrying a water bottle on this. I can strap my camera. Um, a lot of versatility in this little guy. And of course the bottle opener, you, you know, your boy's going to use the bottle opener. So, uh, yeah. Really, really impressive carabiner. Um, I never thought I would have a carabiner on the channel with this much going on. Like, it's very, very, very cool. Um, yes, it's, you know, it's $109, 100, yeah, $109 for this version. But again, titanium, all the things. Um, I don't find this to be a gimmick either. I really don't. Um, the carabiner itself is completely functional, extremely strong. Uh, this is a wickedly sharp little blade here. That will take a while to really dull out too. I mean, and you can always do uh, very easily sharpen that back up. Um, and yeah, the the, the little uh, drill bits in here, the, the the bits in general, those come in not a drill bit, but a bit um, come in very handy all the time, especially with the Phillips head in there when you, when it'll most likely come with a Phillips head. Um, so yeah, 
lots of good stuff going on here. I really, really like this. I think this is one of the more uh, unique pieces of EDC gear to come out in a long time. And also something that just, you know, for everything that's on here, I think they did a really good job of just keeping it to look nice too. It doesn't look gaudy. It definitely looks like it has a lot going on, but it does. It does have a lot going on. And I think that's really cool. So that's it guys. That is the GH carabiner. If you're interested, there is a lot more information in the link below. Um, and I really think some people could really enjoy this, whether it be the titanium versions or the lesser aluminum version for 49 bucks, that could really fit well into a lot of people's uh, budget. So that's that guys. Let me know what you think of this. I think this is really impressive. The and design GH carabiner. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next one, I'm out.